Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and you are on my channel Home Gardening. In my today's video I want to show you how I propagate Peperomia caparata. This type of plant is super easy to propagate and also it is very beautiful and easy to grow and maintain. So here you can see a leaf of Peperomia caparata. I simply put it in water three weeks ago. And now you can see roots and some tiny leaves appeared over there. Peperomia is a small house plant with very dark green leaves, lovely red to purple stems and interesting red tail shaped flowers. What I do next? I take a small pot filled up with soil and plant my leaf with roots in there. Do everything very gently, try not damage the roots, press the soil. So as you can see I planted 6 leaves and after a month I already have new small plants like this. Just look at these beautiful small bushes. Also, there are a lot of new growths still coming. These small leaves are dark green and glossy, they look so healthy and strong. Peperomia caparata is usually trouble free. The only thing that really bothers this plant is soggy soil. So when I saw these small bushes, I decided to plant some of them in one pot. I just like when a plant becomes thicker. So today I will repot them and show you how everything goes. So first of all, when you are going to repot your plants, get ready to add dirt and try to use some tray for extra soil, for example as I do. Then press the pot slightly from each side, in this way the plant and roots will come out easily without damaging. Just look at this beautiful tiny bush. Also, there are a lot of new growths, the plant is very healthy. And then I do the same with all my peperomias. And while I pull them out of their pots, I want to say a few words about how to care peperomia, how to water, how to propagate and so on. This plant is naturally found in tropical rainforests in Brazil. This means it doesn't appreciate low temperatures and will do well with relatively high humidity. Because the sun is mostly blocked out by taller trees in these regions, Peperomia caparata is also not used to receive direct sunlight. Any window besides south-facing ones should work well. There is also another option. Peperomia caparata is known to grow very well under artificial lightning, which means it's a great option for darker rooms. Protect this plant from direct sunlight. Peperomia caparata cannot withstand low temperatures and will let you know rather dramatically if it's feeling cold. Be sure not to expose it to anything below 15 degrees Celsius. Um, room temperature works best for this plant. Because Peperomia needs plenty of air around the roots, a relatively loose soil is a good idea. Light peat moss potting mix that contains perlite or sand to help drainage is a good idea. This plant will easily get stem or root rot if the potting medium is kept wet. Repotting often is usually not necessary because most peperomias are already mature and they don't grow too big. 
If you do need to repot, do this in spring months. A big pot is not needed, the root system are not that large. Figuring out when to water Peperomia can be a bit difficult and the ideal frequency depends largely on the circumstances you've got the plant growing in. Be sure to keep in mind that the species has succulent-like leaves and is able to store some water. Succulents prefer to be left to dry for a bit before watering and the same can be done with Peperomia caparata, although you shouldn't let the soil dry out completely. Once the soil has had some time to dry out, thoroughly water the plant and let the excess water drain out of the pot. Keep in mind that during winter houseplants won't be actively growing and therefore need less water. Always check the soil before watering again. Peperomia caparata is not a heavy feeder by any means and you should be careful not to overfeed it. Try to feed only during the active growing months when the foliage is growing. So as you can understand, Peperomia is usually trouble-free. The only thing that really bothers this plant is soggy soil. And now I want to say a few words about what problems might be with Peperomia. For example, if you see black stems and lower leaves, these are a symptom of soggy soil. If only a few stems turn black, they can be cut off at the base. Easy the plant out of its pot and take a peek at its root. Are they black and mushy? If so, the plant likely won't recover, toss it out. The next may be leaf drop, may be caused by a build up of salts in the soil from soft water or too much fertilizer. You can see accumulated salts as a white crusty deposits on the surface of the soil. Fortunately, it's easy to flush out excess salts. And don't forget to report in spring, only when the plant has outgrown its pot. Move it into a pot that's only slightly larger, because a container that's too big will hold too much water and may cause root rot. Also be sure to use a container with the drainage holes. And now this is the final result, now I made it look thicker, I like it, I love this plant. I can't wait to go back to the plant store and check out more plants from the Peperomia family. Well guys, if you find this video useful, please give this video a thumb up, please subscribe to my channel for more videos, see you soon, happy gardening, bye bye!